do a spot this morning that I've actually never been to. I believe. I believe I've never been here before. If I have, it's when I was a kid. When I was much younger. And I don't remember anything about it at all. So, I'm going to see if I can try to get on some fish here this morning. As you can probably tell from all the little trash cans and the maintenance man up there, I'm at like a little, uh, I guess you wouldn't call it a state park, it's like a little city park for this river. Like I said, first time I've ever been here, I believe. This actually wasn't my original plan. I had two other spots I was going to go to today, and one of them had a bunch of no parking signs that were not there previously. Don't know if that's all legit. I'll we'll have to check out and see if that's all legal and figure that all out. But I wasn't about to park there by myself with one vehicle and all the no parking signs that were around. Anyway, then the next spot was a lot less water than I thought, which might have been okay. But I know this place right here has a lot of water in it, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. that fish let him take it down dang it that was the first bite didn't take that long another fish came up and popped it come on that's it for that little corner there I saw I just had the legs. I still saw my whole frog. Looks like it might have even been a perch. A little bluegill. Perfect little skip under this tree. Waiting for a big old bass explosion. I think I got a little bluegill just nibbling on the tails. That's <laughs> what they should be up there eating though. What this frog imitates other than a frog is a little struggling bluegill under there. Stumps along here where a bass could be hanging. Don't know why I'm not getting bit more than I am. Well, like I said, this is a crowded place as you can tell. So, there's quite a few factors against me, I guess. I haven't quite got past all the people. As you can tell. Oh man, yep. More people in the river up here. Gonna have to get moving probably sheesh, quite a bit of ways down here before I stop seeing people. If I ever stop seeing people that is, I don't know. Might just keep on seeing people. Some real little bass right here. Just a few inches long. So they were spawned last year. So their mama's been around here at some point. Well, that or they got washed downstream real far by a storm at some point. I guess it's really impossible to say how the specific fish get in here. But once again, got this deep hole over here. And no sign of a decent bass anywhere. Seen some more perch, some more of the little catfish that were over there by the bridge. Just 
No decent bass. Just a few little fingerlings. Oh, as I said that, there's one. Not really a good fish, but it's a bass. So I'm not going to complain right now. In fact, I'm going to back up and see if he's got a couple little buddies that maybe you want to eat there. A little Guadalupe bass. Ran up there and dumped that little wacky rig and took off with it. Rast. Pretty much figured it was going to be a little guad, actually, the way that he bit, too. See all these perch that followed him out. A couple of little bass in there, but I don't think there's anything even as big as him. Very healthy little guy. Full belly. But he's still coming up to eat that wacky rig. Well, thank you for getting rid of the skunk for me at least, little dude. It's crazy though. It's the only bass even that size that's in here. It's the biggest bass I've actually seen in quite a while here. Most of the ones that I've seen since I passed that bridge are just a few inches long, not even catchable size. That little guad I just caught was actually the biggest fish I've seen in a little while. bass right here started to follow my whopper plopper. <laughs> one of them turned off, the other one ended up there and ate it. I was going to say, ooh, he turned off. <laughs> and the little, his little brother ran up there and ate it. <laughs> Short, stubby little guy. Golly, that's a healthy young bass there. Mouth right there. Come on, where are the good ones at? This is wild. Not seeing a good fish along here anywhere. Oh, oh! Little bass tried to come up and eat it. Come on, what happened? Missed it and then didn't come back again. Just Went back to his little hole. Ooh, did you have it? Yep. Got him. Nice. <laughs> well, that was cool. At least I got to have one follow my whopper plopper out. And throw back. Oop. Catch him with the wacky rig. Little Guadalupe bass. That's what I thought it was. It chased it out. <sighs> Another just real little guy though. Cannot believe the lack of good fish in here. Actually, I don't want to move forward really without throwing this whopper plopper like I said. It's been showing at least a few little fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Nice bass right there. Followed it all the way. Why didn't he eat it? No. Dang it. Dang it. He was following it for a long time. I could have sworn he was actually going to eat it. There's at least one good fish. That's a three, four pounder too. Golly, that was a really good fish. Why didn't he eat it? Golly. That was 
was cool. Little Guadalupe came out of nowhere. Very pretty fish there. Very pretty guad there. Very nice colorations on that guy. Come up and smashed it behind that rock. All these people over here playing in front of this rock, I assumed that there'd be some bass back behind it here. I'm trying to just stay out of all the commotion. Well, as you can see, there's a bunch of people here now at this park. And this is my starting point from this morning, so I'm going to go ahead and put all my baits away and get out of the water here. I just hooked myself. Ah. All the way through so I can cut the bar and pull it back. Uh, yeah, I hooked my, my leg here. Oh, shit. You cut the... Yeah, if you can. You got a, something we can cut that? Yeah. Hey. Got a pair right here that might cut it. Yeah. Uh. Uh. It's not quite through far enough. To pull it through. Uh. Cut the hook. Just cut the hook and then. Okay. I think I can get it right there. There you go. That? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes sir. Right there. Alrighty. Thank you. Yes sir. Thank you for, for noticing my struggle over here. Oh, this will be alright. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jeez. Never done that before. Never had it go all the way through like that. Or I had to cut it, that was wild.